it's just a very nice, dependable, reliable uh, breakfast restaurant. And they also serve lunch. And it's a bit old fashioned, everything from the black speckled floors to the plastic tablecloths and even the plastic uh, uh, ferns. Uh, Lou Mitchell is, uh, originally when he was alive, would greet the ladies at the door with a pinch on the cheek mm -hmm. and give them milk duds. So I just think it's a very <laughs> comfortable place. The food is fantastic. The eggs are double yolk eggs, which, uh, you know, as you go through the menu, you realize it's really going to be a cholesterol fix for the day. <laughs> Uh, the food is wonderful, the corned beef hash, the, the waffles, the pancakes, all more than you can eat. Uh, very, very nice bakery area. The juice is fresh, and it's uh, reliable. I loved it. And, you know, I had never heard of this place before oh. in my life, so it was really neat to go there and, you know, be part of something that was so buzzing with excitement. It was absolutely packed. I got the... Um, really thick cut French toast, which was oh, delicious. Yes. It was really, really good. And uh, my husband got the Greek omelet. Yeah, it was, it was great. I always get the corned beef hash mm -hmm. and potatoes and double poached eggs. Um, and it, it's been a favorite of mine, and they do it very, very well. Uh, my son always gets either the waffle or the uh, pancakes, and my friend usually gets the Belgian waffle. I like the waitresses, the <laughs> kind of the old school, what do you want type <laughs> attitude. Balancing plates yep. everywhere, well, and they got these donut holes that are just the donut holes are incredible. Yeah, nice we joked shit. about they pass them out for free when you're in line, and we joked about just like staying yeah. in line to get the free donut holes. And, like, and then leave, up. Yeah. And leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they serve ice cream at the end of breakfast. And I said, oh, this is cool. So yeah. again, my son liked it, but can't imagine leaving Chicago for a week after a weekend visit without stopping off at Lou Mitchell's. Great breakfast food, but I'm not sure that it lived up to the hype and the weight for me. Um, because I had never heard of it before, it had no hype for me. I loved it and I, I can't believe I'd never heard of it before. I really liked it a lot.